Hey everyone, this is CVGS, Brandon here, and today I'm bringing to you the BSC 37 Kira All Booster uh, Diva Premium Selection. So, this uh, set is a reprint set mostly from BSC 31, including some of the new X Ray and higher cards, and a lot of revivals that made the uh, other archetypes of Diva that we used to love and adore much, much stronger. So, on the front here, we have our Noir Fleur, our Flame Sandria and our favorite from Nina. The set contains 20 packs, each pack containing 6 cards, and the card list is as follows. We have 30 commons, 24 rares, uh, 20, 12 master rares, 12 X rares, and also 1 double X rare being the wonderful Noir Fleur. Uh, on the back here, we also have uh, Trickster, uh, Zexia Tenma, Banri Sora, uh, Revo Tida and the Takomine. <laughs> I couldn't pronounce her name, but yeah, she's also another sacred sword, uh, diva that uh, we all used to love and, uh, love and adore. So, let's open up the box, shall we? Yoink! Okay, so the pack is also on the front. We have Noafla, Fumina, and Flame Sandria. And on the back is mostly the information about the set itself. I'm quite excited to open this, honestly. So let's get to it. And we are back. So, uh, for this set, we will be covering the extra and higher rarity cards. So for more information about the set itself and their effects and all the other card translations from previous sets, do check out World of Cards, link in the description below. So, we are going to start off with the secret rare that we pulled from this set <laughs> this time. Okay, so this is Academy Uniform Diana Fleur. So she is a uh, Twilight Gothic team diva with an effect that is when a song magic card is placed on your field, uh, you can summon this spirit card from your hand or trash without paying the cost. This effect cannot be duplicated. And uh, level 1, 2, 3 on summon, uh, destroy one opposing brave the brave. After that, destroy one opposing spirit or ultimate with BP 7k or lower. And at level 3, when this spirit attacks, uh, destroy one opposing exhausted spirit. So, Diana Fleur is the diva counterpart to Dark Worm Nova, which, who is in the Nova line from the main set. And looking at her, she's pretty pretty nice, considering that she can provide herself, uh, provide extra defense by uh, sending Braves away, uh, and also exhausting, uh, destroying exhausted state spirits, which hmm, uh, that one Nova also used to do. Uh, she provides uh, extra layer of defense and utility, which you know divas don't usually have. So this is a really really nice card to uh, that is being seen reprinted, and it is very very nice secret art that we managed to pull here. So moving on to the next card, we have. One of the Ray Oba cards that I was kind of looking forward to, the Glittering Tenyo Ray Oba. So she is from the team Shining Hearts, as we all know and remember. And uh, her effect is all your Ray Oba can be braved with two braves. In addition, when your Ray Oba is summoned by your effects, you can directly brave it up to two braves on your field. Uh, if you did brave, uh, the Ray Oba can refresh. So. Like I mentioned in one of my deck profiles for Rayoba, <laughs> link in the description below, uh, the Shining Nymph here is meant to allow Rayoba to continue uh, uh, braving and attacking with braves that are already on the table, just in case they somehow got removed. So uh, level 2 and 3 during your attack step, she also has, when your Rayoba attacks, you can summon one yellow brave card with one yellow symbol from your hand without paying the cost, and you can send one opposing spirit to the bottom of the deck. So this, again, provides the Ray Oba archetype with a lot more offensive power, being able to summon uh, singles, uh, single symbol yellow braves. Sadly, you can't spawn yellow demon god. A shame. <laughs> but that's okay, because we have many, many other uh, diva braves that come with this set uh, uh, as well. <clears throat> Moving on, we shall see the Reprint of a burst revival that uh, we used to love and adore. Flaming Sengoku Princess Banri Sora. So again, she's another Shining Hearts team diva uh, with an effect with uh, when your spirit from the team Shiny Hearts that is cost 6 and higher attacks, you can activate this set burst while ignoring its condition. 
So the soul burst is after uh, your spirit from the family uh, song, prin uh, song princess is being destroyed by your opponent, you can summon her without paying the cost. And when she is summoned or attacks, you can send one opposing uh, spirit to the top or the bottom of the deck. After that, once per turn, refresh the spirit. So, considering a lot of burst hit that we have, being able to uh, self-flip during your turn so that you can quote unquote reset another burst if you somehow were able to and also provides another body for you to swing with and removal is removal making uh, Bunry Sora a very nice addition to the Shining Hearts deck which she was already in for a very very long time uh, I kind of like Bunry Sora a lot because uh, red hair, nice umbrella, the clothes <laughs> Moving on, uh, we shall now move on to the one of a uh, favorite Diva Spirits of all time, and is being reprinted many many times. Uh, everyone's Song Princess Trickster. So, uh, everyone's Song Princess Trickster has an effect that she is treated as all teams because she is everyone's idol. Everyone's Song Princess mm, idol one. So she has the all the teams, and when she is summoned. Uh, you may send uh, three opposing spirits back to their hand and for each one sent, you can draw one card from your deck and level 3 when she attacks, you may pay one cost to summon one spirit card from the family stage star or grand style from your hand if you've done so once per turn, refresh this spirit um, there were videos that recently came out that featured the power of everyone's uh, song princess trickster uh, she is really nice in uh, firstly the Bouncing and draw removal similar to many other cards that draw you cards per card removed and also being able to summon another partner from any of the other teams is really really strong considering that divas usually uh, they usually just go around their own teams and don't mix a lot now with the uh, uh, diva uh, with the trickster you can now put her into most of the diva decks with uh, the on-stage mechanic which is similar to the Aikatsu on-stage mechanic uh, but the only difference is the on-stage mechanic sends to bottom deck and draws a card uh, but this is also a really really nice addition to the set of divas and I'm really really excited to try it out myself moving on we have the another reprint of a Rayoba the Christmas Party Rayoba she is also shiny cards as every Rayoba should be and uh, when she is summoned you can summon uh, one brave card and one spirit card from the family stage star without paying the cost and on level 3 during your attack step all your spirits containing the name Christmas party cannot be blocked by opposing spirits now the reason why everyone loves this Christmas party Rayoba is she can summon the one brave that the initial nymph, uh, shining nymph uh, Rayoba couldn't do which was to summon Yellow Demon God <laughs> because we are all greedy and we want double yellow symbols <laughs> okay anyways you are uh, being able to summon any brave uh, of your choice is really really strong uh, oh she also summons one a family uh, one card from the family stage style as well along with that brave summon so usually what most uh, Rayoba players like to do is when they do summon the Christmas party Rayoba they will stick the brave to her first and make sure she is nice and snug with extra power and symbol so that just in case of certain zero counters your the the target usually will go to whatever the brave is attached to so at least it won't disturb the other uh, Rayoba that comes out but most of the time, now that we have the uh, Idol Fest Rayoba, she most of the zero counters can't touch her, which is wonderful. So she is a wonderful uh, card to have, and it's very nice to see her being reprinted again. Uh, the last card we have the newest first year student, Ririka Ren. Uh, she has an Axel effect, uh, which is sending all uh, opposing uh, BP 3K or less spirits to the bottom deck and you draw one card uh, level 1, 2 and 3 uh, either uh, player's deck cannot uh, be discarded by more than 2 on either player's turn uh, and when brave, uh, when this spirit attacks she gets 10,000 BP 10,000 BP, yeah, 10,000 BP and when she is being, being uh, not blocked when she's not blocked and she gets one yellow symbol uh, 
Rika Ram is pretty nice considering she's 5 calls with an excellent effect. Probably something I might throw in my Delphine. <laughs> yeah, please ignore that. Uh, being able to have the crowd control of sending uh, all the 3k and below spirits while drawing you cards is also a very, very nice thing to have. Uh, the anti deck discard is really uh, it's a bit much, but it's it's pretty nice to have still because uh, anti mill is always great just in case you get cheesed out with by a castle golem a cough cough and another diva deck profile anyways now that we have seen all the uh divas in this set i hope you guys enjoy what you see if you like what we do uh do slam that like button and subscribe to us uh ring a ding that bell so you can get the latest notifications for our videos uh you can also follow us on our socials like facebook instagram uh, Twitter and also our Discord server link in the description below where me and the guys will be there on most nights Playing games talking about games and many many more And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope to see you again in the next one Jane.